Hi everyone, welcome back to this uh, very well updated channel. Hmm? Today I actually thought that I should start updating my perfume collection again. Uh, I did these videos like four years ago or something. I did two videos showing my entire my entire perfume collection and uh, it was so like well liked. So many people liked this video and um, so I should I thought I should like redo this whole thing because even though it's been quite a few years, though it hasn't happened too too much, it, it has grown, okay, it has grown. It has been some changes in the perfume collection. So I thought we should like start from one end and go through them all. But I thought I should start with the designer stuff and we'll see if we have to cut the video in the middle somewhere because it's, it's quite a lot. Let's start with Thurm one of my big, uh, big issues in life. <laughs> Thermagle Angel is one of my favorite perfumes of all time. It's um, full of cocoa and uh, um, chocolatey red berries and um, uh, patchouli. So it's a very, very heady. It's a super heady scent, real classic, like 90s classic. Um, smells incredibly strong and it like eats a room. You know, when you wear it, it like whew, fills the room. and everyone will feel it and I really like that. This one is the Classic Eau de Parfum in a special edition bottle for the 20th anniversary because the scent celebrated 20th anniversary like two years ago or something, two three years. So this is the deluxe bottle but it's the same Classic Eau de Parfum. This is the Eau de Toilette. It's uh, the same scent but it's fruitier, it's less patchouli heavy so it won't be as gritty, you know, it will be sweeter and easier to wear if you like the scent but you want something fresher. Another fresh version is Aqua Chic. It was released, oh, I'm not gonna start on years because I'm not sure about this, but around 2011 or, or 12. Uh, it's, it's a lot fresher, it's less of the patchouli, less of all that uh, richness, more of the fruit and uh, it's like fizzy in a way, so it, it will be, it's like the warm weather version. It still has that uh, angel ID, so it will still smell like angel, but it's a lot fresher. Then we have the Eau Sucre versions. They're both sugary and uh, not very like the original, I must admit. This uh, this one is the oldest one. I'm not gonna even start on this. This one is older anyways. This one was released this spring. Uh, they're both like very teenage dreamy. They're not a lot of angel. Uh, they're said to be full of uh, this meringue, that kind of stuff. And yeah, it's very fruity and it's really sweet. I really like those teeny bopper scents though, you know, the uh, flower bomb-esque scents. So if you like the flower bomb scents and love angel, these are nice for your collection. They smell really nice, they do. Then we have my favorite angel of all time. This is uh, Taste of Fragrance. Uh, in this one we have amped up, amped up that uh, cocoa. So you have a lot more that dark intense cocoa in it. it it's really intense. This one will be a lot heavier than like the original so this one is super super heady i love 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 this one it's a lot more intense and there's a lot more of all the good in angel so for a true angel lover this one i, th I think it's hard to get a hold of right now because it was a limited edition for a few years ago but it is so good if you find it you need to get it and here's my last angel scent this one is called liqueur the perfume and it was uh it uh was added some rum, I think. So I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's rum that was added in this one. It's like the um, taste of fragrance is a lot richer. Uh, it has a lot more honey. It ha it's like honey heavy, so it will be very like warm and sticky and gooey. Uh, also a nice one if you like the heavier scent. So not for the weak hearted. Thermagle also has a line called Alien. People are often alien people or angel people. I am definitely an angel person but I really like them both because they have this weird aura around them. So the angel scent is based on uh, jasmine and a lot of amber. This one is the taste of fragrance. It was added salted caramel. So this one is super heavy and sticky and gooey. I actually wore this to an interview once uh, and the girl who interviewed me for a paper she was like 
um, um, blah 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 what else do you like doing apart from makeup and I was like I really like perfume and she's like yeah I can sense that she didn't like it <laughs> and that's why I, I kind of love it even more just because she hated it at time so nice one Alien also came in an aqua chic version this fizzy uh, fresh version this one doesn't smell a lot like the original I think it's a really nice warm weather scent if you want something that just feels fresh and fizzy it's uh, yeah this one I think anyone would dare to wear this one this one is like it's the jasmine and it's yeah it's, it's a soft fresh jasmine and here is my favorite of the alien scents with that taste of fragrance I can really decide which one I think is nicest this one is called sun essence uh, this one is like extra heavy on the amber uh, it's super warm you know when that feeling of sun warm skin this is it in a bottle and okay now let's be serious for a second here uh, as mentioned I have a real problem with these teeny bopper scents it's not that I don't like them I really really love them I love these like stupid fragrances I feel really bad for saying it but I really love them uh, I really love, for example, this one is my newest edition. This is the Victor and Rolf Bonbon. It smells like apricots, peaches and uh, caramel sauce. Mm. It smells like a 14 year old girl and uh, I really really like doing that. Same thing with this one. This is one of the most dreaded bottles. Everyone around my age wore this when we were like okay, 14 maybe. Um, and uh, yeah, just take a guess. Take a moment and take a guess what this is. Uh, it smells like white chocolate and has the same kind of fruity stupid thing going. It is round pink and has rhinestones on it. Of course, it's the Britney Spears Fantasy. The original Fantasy is so 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 good. I really love this one. Um, not for the most sophisticated situations. I really love wearing this like at home or when I'm just out of doing regular everyday stuff. Uh, I don't feel very like dressed up when I wear this but it smells so nice. It smells so 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 nice. It's, it's yeah it's so so nice. Another one of those teen like scents that I I really like it. First first of all for the seriously beautiful bottle. This one is Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs. Uh, it, um, it smells like pears and blackberries. It's one of those like psh, 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 and it smells like shower fresh. I like shower fresh sometimes and that's when I wear this. Another one of those sweet scents bordering like teenage but still really nice. Then we have the Prada candy. This is one of my absolute favorites. This is benzoin and uh, vanilla in just like a, it's like a warm blanket scent it's so easy to wear you don't have to like dress up for it but it still is one of those that fills a room so you can feel very like everyday fresh but still wear a lot of perfume <laughs> another one of those really fresh scents that i like wearing for like everyday things that is elisab uh, le parfum this one is orange blossom all the way i really like orange blossom for those fresh scents it doesn't smell like fresh laundry uh, it's more floral but it still has that shower fresh feeling uh, this one is some rose and some honey as well it's very like it's generic but it's really really well made so you won't like stand out when you're wearing it but you will smell really really good here's another orange blossom that I really like wearing this is in the Neroli from Yves Rocher uh, this one is like Neroli orange blossom all the way That that's it this is like the hangover scent of hangover scents. Another one of those warm blanket scents is Rodeux Le Parfum from NUX. This one is also orange blossom. It has uh, vanilla and gardenia and also some coconut. So uh, it's it's like a tropical paradise scent. Uh, but not as synthetic as many of those scents are. This smells exactly like the NUX body oil. The really really popular one. And uh, yeah, if you like the oil then you have to get the perfume. That's like, that combination is so 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 good. I'm sneaking in this one as well, Replica by uh, My Son Martin Margiela. This is fun for evening, that's what my boyfriend wears. Uh, it smells like, um, uh, like red apples, uh, sponge sugar and yeah, it smells like a fun fair. 
it's super sweet, very warm. And anise, anise, I don't want to call it anus because you know, yeah, I don't want to call it that, but an anise, let's say that, that um, it's like a bit licorice-y. So this is what my boyfriend wears, it's so nice on him. This is another favorite of mine, this is a gardenia balm called Versace Cristal Noir. Uh, uh, I've, be, I've um, talked about this before and I've always said that it smells like, uh, like vampire on a beach. It's like a tropical gothic scent, if that makes sense. A gothic scent that I just can't stand anymore. I liked it before, but now I, it won't make me want to puke. It's the Tom Ford Black Orchid. I think it's because Tom Ford started selling in Sweden, or like in Gothenburg very recently, and uh, then everyone started wearing this out. And this one smells like, um, like cheese doodles. <sighs> it smells like cheese doodles. Um, yeah, uh, it makes me think of... Eric Cartman. Cheesy poofs. Mom, I want some cheesy poofs! Another Tom Ford that I can stand, on the other hand, is Violet Blonde. Violet Blonde is uh, uh, like violet and a very like light suede. It feels like um, expensive like car gloves. If, if you think about like um, uh, the movie The Birds, you know, when she's driving in that car with the scarf and the car gloves and some sunglasses. That feels like that. It smells really luxurious and I feel super fancy when I wear this. Now let's go into some Chanel. This is Chanel number no. 19 Poudre. Uh, it's a powdery version of the classic Chanel number no. 19. Number no. 19 is an 80s bitch. It's so, 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 so sharp. It's very green and very sharp. Um, the number 19 poudre is a powder version of it. It smells warmer and more comforting. It's a really soft version of it and this one is really great for like serious meetings and stuff when you want to convince someone that you're very important. That's a good scent to wear. Here's another Chanel uh, oldie that's quite hard to describe. Coco is... Uh, uh, it's, it, it's like a spicy soft cloud. It's very 80s. It is very 80s, uh, but it's very warming and spicy. When you really want that uh, comforting like cloud around you, then a drop of cocoa is really, really nice. But it's hard, hard to wear mostly, but it's, it's not for the faint-hearted. And probably the only sporty fresh fragrance that I wear or own is uh, Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche. Uh, Eau Fraiche is like lemon bomb. It's a lemony, lemony, lemon bomb. It's uh, a bit spicy, so it will like have some body to it. It's not just uh, silky and you know uh, runs through your fingers kind of scent. This one has a bit of a body, but it's still that citrusy fresh scent. So really great if you want something else, but still that classic fresh scent. Here's a perfume that I bought for my boyfriend and we end up wearing it both of us. This one is called Dior Homme. It's classic Dior. This is reformulated so it was better before but this is the new version sadly. I wish I can get my hands on the old one. It's an iris bomb. It's so so much iris uh, and it's still very spicy so it like changes from warm to cool very nicely. Um, it's super soft though so it feels also like, I really like those warm blanket kind of scents, and this is one of them, definitely. Uh, wears very differently on me and my boyfriend. Uh, it barely smells like the same scent, so it feels very dif different depending on who's wearing it. Now, let's interrupt this video here. So, I had to split it up. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll stop here, and then I'll upload the second part of this perfume video later. I really hope you liked this one, and... Uh, uh, have a great uh, day, night, evening, whatever. Bye-bye! <laughs>